Hello, this video is going to look at the dead weight loss and tax size. So here we have a $2 per unit tax placed on this product. Uh, without the tax, consumers buy five units and pay $5, and sellers receive $5 and sell five units. With the tax, consumers pay $6 for four units, and sellers, net of taxes, receive $4 from four units sold. So the dead weight loss is going to be this triangle, this loss in consumer and producer surplus owing to the tax. Area of the triangle is one half base times height. So the base of the triangle, uh, five minus four, right here, going from this point to this point. And the height of the triangle is six minus four. So doing the math here, the dead weight loss is $1. Government tax revenue is going to be the tax times the number of units sold, so the tax is $2. Okay, the distance here between 6 and 4, or this vertical distance right here, and the number of units being taxed is 4, so 2 times 4, we get $8 of government revenue. Moving on now to a $4 per unit tax. Same market, but now there is a $4 per unit tax put in here. The wedge between what buyers pay and sellers receive is $4, 7 minus 3. So that's the size of the tax. So the dead weight loss here. The base of the triangle has expanded. It's now 5 minus 3, or 2 units. And the height of the triangle is 7 minus 3. So the dead weight loss is the area of this triangle. In doing the math, the dead weight loss is $4. So what we had here, we had the tax doubling from two to four dollars, and you'll notice that the dead weight loss increased from one dollar in our first example to four dollars now. So this tells us something about how the dead weight loss responds to a tax increase. The dead weight the dead weight loss increases by the square of the tax increase. So if you were to double the tax, this will increase the dead weight loss by two squared or four times. And that's exactly what happened here. We doubled the tax and the dead weight loss increased four times. It went from one to four dollars. If we were to triple the tax, the dead weight loss would increase by three squared or nine times. Instead of if we were to triple the tax from two dollars to say six dollars, the dead weight loss would be nine dollars. Nine times one. Uh, we'll notice here that the government tax revenue is going to be 4 times 3. There are 3 units being bought and sold, and the tax is $4 per unit, so government collects $12 of revenue. All right, let's move on. Here is now the $6 per unit tax. Uh, the quantity being bought and sold in this case is just 2. Consumers pay $8. Sellers receive $2 net of taxes. So the dead weight loss in this example is $9. The tax increased from our last example by 1.5 times, increasing from 4 to $6. That's a 1.5 times increase. And this increased the dead weight loss from $4 in our last example to $9 now. So again, following that rule, the dead weight loss increases by the square of the tax increase. So here we have a 1.5 times increase from our last example, going from 4 to $6. The tax increased 1.5 times, so the dead weight loss will increase by 1.5 squared, or 2.25 times. So note, if we were to take our dead weight loss from the last example, $4, and multiply it by 2.25, we have our dead weight loss in this example. The government tax revenue is unchanged. Two units are being taxed at uh, $6 per unit, so once again, the government's collecting $12 of tax revenue, uh, compared to, is it, which is the same as our last example. And finally, uh, we have an $8 per unit tax. So here the dead weight loss is $16. So we've got this big triangle with a base of 5 minus 1, or 4. And the height of the triangle is 9 minus 1, or 8. So doing the math here, we get $16. So the tax increased from our last example by 1.33 times, rising from 6 to 8. So that's a 1.33 times increase, or 1 in a third. And we'll notice that our dead weight loss went from $9 in our last example to $16 here, following that rule. 
if the tax increased by 1.33 times, the deadweight loss will increase by 1.33 squared or 1.777 times. And so if we take our deadweight loss from the last example, it's $9, multiply it by 1.777, that's $16 what we found as the area of this deadweight loss triangle. And you'll notice something interesting here too, the government tax revenue actually fell. So as we keep increasing the tax, government revenue may increase, it may reach some maximum point, but then if you continue to uh, increase the tax in the market, it's possible, as shown in this example, that government tax revenue will af actually decline. One unit is being taxed at uh, $8 per unit. All right, uh, I hope you found this video helpful.